Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy from Tapas Revolution Restaurants and today I'm going to show you how to prepare fabada asturiana, a smoked meats and butter beans stew from the region of Asturias where I've just recently been and I've been inspired as I've been eating quite a few of them. It's a very comforting dish that it really warms your heart and your soul so much so that it is the only, only ready meal um, that you can find in a can, no matter where you are in Spain, through the entire country. In every supermarket you go, whether it's in the northwest or in the southeast or in the east itself or in the Canary Islands, you will find this product in a tin form, ready for you to put into a bowl and put it in the microwave and eat it. That is how comforting it is. We just love it. And it may well be the most comforting Spanish dish. So, very few ingredients, slow cook dish, really easy to make. You're gonna see it in a, in a minute, but what makes a huge difference is that you use very good products good butter beans from Asturias if you can, which are particularly long, creamy and buttery, and the cured and smoked meats from Asturias as well. And this is really important. This is the black pudding, the morcilla, and that is the chorizo. They are both heavily smoked, probably for about 12 to 14 days, and they are made with loads of onion, particularly the black pudding. And then we have the panceta, which is the belly, and the lacón, which are both cured and salted like with some jamón serrano. So that's probably a good substitute if, if you can find the Asturian products. And like with all cooking, small details makes a huge difference and that's what I'm going to be showing you today in my recipe. I've cooked this in a million different ways, I've been taught by plenty of Asturian people of how to make it, but I think the little changes that I've made to this recipe is really what makes it the most outstanding recipe of all time. Otherwise I would be giving you a different one as you well know. But don't let me keep you and let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need butter beans, and in my case I'm using the traditional and original faves from Asturias that I've soaked overnight. And then we're going to need smoked chorizo, panceta and morcilla, as well as the lacón that I mentioned before. A bit of saffron, paprika and onion and some extra virgin olive oil. We're going to start by peeling an onion and keeping it whole. And on a large pot, we're going to place all the cured meats, the onion and the butter beans, which we're going to cover with cold water and bring them to the boil over medium heat. As they come to the boil, you'll see that a little sort of dirt and impurities start floating over the top. So skim it with the help of a slotted spoon but try not to remove any of the fat that sits on top as it will make our stew a bit more decadent at the end. Leave it simmering, do that a couple of times and then it's when you add your extra virgin olive oil, your paprika and your saffron and the reason you do that at this stage is so that you make sure that you never skim it out. So first take the dirt and then you add the ingredients. And we're going to let it simmer for four hours. If it needs a little bit of top up of water, don't be afraid to add a little bit of cold water, a little bit of a, at a time. And comes without saying that every bean is different. So your favada may be ready in two hours, but mine took four. So just consider the timing when you cook it yourself and just keep checking until you can feel that the butter beans are just as soft as butter. And after four very long hours waiting patiently, it is now time to serve it. So cut all your cured meats into pieces. And by the way, these meats are called compango. And when you go to Spanish supermarket, they will sell them all together. So serve a piece of each, pork belly, the lacón, the black pudding and the chorizo, a piece of onion, and 
some broth and the butter beans so that every guest that you have at home or every member of the family have exactly the same plate of food so that everyone eats in the same pot of what it's about to come later and the moment of truth let's have a taste really hot mm. first thing I should say is the texture they're buttery untuous really soft and they're sort of that hot skin looking um, bean it has become incredibly succulent and, and soft to the touch so intense the taste because of the smoked meats and um, it is just so comforting for us. This is what we will have when we feel cold. I have to say I'm one of as Favada Asturiana biggest fans. I hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you give it a go. Remember, if you need ingredients to cook it, you can find it on my website, thespanishchef.com. Things like the beans themselves or the smoked meats. And as well, you can find the recipe on my cookbooks, Tapas Revolution and Spanish Made Simple, as well that you can come to any of my restaurants, Tapas Revolutions, all around the UK, and um, try it on the flesh. All the best, familia. See you soon, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All the best. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe.